Hi Capricorn, welcome to your transit report for your Mercury in retrograde. I think I'm the only one excited. <laughs> no, I'm not excited, but I'm here to give you guys helpful information for March 5th to the 28th um, during the Mercury in retrograde in the Tara Badrapada. Now, before we go to the transit report, I need you guys to watch first the first big chunk. The chunk is at e -Trade Love Inc. and how it's going to affect you. Uh, meaning in a, in a bigger perspective. We discuss the planet, the nakshatra, the trivial part of it, and what retrograde is. Here, we're gonna, I'm going to be talking to the Capricorn rising and the Capricorn moon. Are you ready? Because I am. Here we go. Capricorn! Here we go. I like to use red for the Capricorn. Okay. So Capricorn, where is it happening? In your third house. Third house can be your sibling. Okay. Now, can be family related. Okay. That can cause you delay. Okay. Something about your sibling is bothering you. If you have a sibling. If you don't, you're lucky. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Now, with the third house also, this is your communication. Chances are, Capricorn, a lot of miscommunication will heighten even more. You try to say one thing, the other person expected you to do this, and then this and that, and then here you go. A whole kind of dilemma because it's transiting your third house. Now, the third house also would represent, from what I'm seeing here, as far as like Mercury is debilitated here, it's uncomfortable for you right now to speak up. But you're bottling it. Okay, so I always say this, if it's not a perfume and a spring water, do not bottle it. So make sure you express. But how do you express when you are not comfortable? You take deep, you know, you know deep three breaths before you let it out. Inhale, whoosh, exhale. Because this way, you avoid being misunderstood by the people around you. A lot of people will not understand you at this time. They would see you as the one who has a problem. But for you, you're just expressing it. And then hence, I just want to express myself, but I don't understand as people. What are they talking about? Remember, it's Mercury putting attention towards you. Hey Capricorn, learn to communicate more openly. It's asking you to be more open can be to criticism from others, okay? Now, this is not the house of others, but the house of others would be your seventh. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Cancer. Yeah, there's gonna be a, a lot of opinion. Can be your mom giving you an opinion with the fourth house here. I'm just saying that because if others is affecting your communication, I would look at your 12 and four, okay? People around you, home, mm-hmm. That's what I'm seeing here. A lot of communication at home, family affairs are affecting this because this is the other's relationship, business relationship also here. Okay. That's where it's asking you to really, really focus. All right. So that is going to, because there's a tendency for you to look like, why am I the bad guy? 
Why am I the bad guy? Because remember, 12 house is hidden enemies, natural 12, but it's looking at you, it's just like right now, it's like Mercury is making you look like the bad guy. Am I the bad guy? You know, this is what you're telling, okay, to the people that you're talking to. So be watchful of that. It's just going to be from March 5th to the 28th. Now, if you guys are into remedies, this is what we have, Capricorn, and this is what I would be using. We do have a discount for it until March 5th, and we send it out to you guys. Um, but for right now, for the transit, I hope this was able to help you. Have a wonderful, wonderful March, and I'll see you guys again. Bye, Capricorn.